so i liked this idea i got it from uh, the inspiration from unlearning with joy love her so much so uh, i'm gonna put her handle um somewhere here please do follow her she's very authentic and she loves god and we know in this house gig we love children of god so without wasting any time let me just get into um the questions i have 10 questions i couldn't get her last question i think so i added mine so um I hope you guys enjoy it i will also put it in the description if you want to do it i think it's very healthy to check in with yourself just to um gauge yourself for good how are you are how you are mentally and where you are physically spiritually it's just your wellness so when i saw the video i was very excited because also it's a way of checking um upon other people a reminder to check up on other people so you check on yourself and you see good see am i okay and then you check upon um other people because we still have a responsibility to love one another to care for each other so um i'm gonna start with myself and just check on myself so the first question says how have you been feeling about life lately <clears throat> How have I been feeling about life lately? Um, such a general um question, but I'm gonna personalize it and say, I have been feeling. Um, life has been good. Let me just say that life has been good. Um, I'm in a point in my life where I can really say I'm content sorry also i just see the goodness of god and just this year has been amazing just in terms of me looking at my prayer list and looking at my life it's basically me living in the answered prayer area in the answered prayer era and um also just remember the scripture yeah exodus 3 verse 7 and i'm gonna paraphrase it um where god says to um Israel, he says, I have seen the affliction of my children and he says he wants to take them out of that slavery and um, into a land that is spacious and a good land filled with milk and honey. And I feel like I've been in Egypt for the longest time in my life that God really has been just saying, Gimina, I have seen your cry, I have heard your cry, and I'm here to deliver you. So I feel like I'm just living in that moment where I'm just being delivered, where I'm just being restored. And I know a lot of times when you speak about life being good, it's because um, there's tangible things where somebody can say, oh, I bought the house, oh, I got um, a new car, this happened. But really for me, um, okay, there are tangible things, but I see this into that make me say um, the goodness of God has really been upon my life. It's just the overall he um, health that I have, the peace that I have, and just... Um, the restoration that god has done in my life i feel as though um i'm finally in that good place where i've been crying and um okay my family is just making noise in the background i've been crying to god and i feel like he's finally giving me a hug so that's how i feel so um the next question says what do i love doing What do I love doing? I think I love. So the next question is, what do I love doing? I love, I love serving. Um, I love seeing to it, Uguti people are being attended to their needs, their emotional uh, needs. Sometimes it's not even like big and hectic things but um if somebody needs help with choosing an outfit i like just going out of my way um to make that happen for them if it's somebody who needs transport i love being the help like for example manje um matrix are going to their prom matrix dance like if there's any way i could help even if i can't give you my car if i can ask on your behalf from somebody i just love saving 
serving is just um something that i love doing and um whether it's cooking for my family whether it's um just fulfilling my job and making sure good to what i need to do is being done i think that's something that i love the most excuse me and then the third question is how is your job well, when this question popped up immediately, like I think most of us, I wanted to sulk and be like, oh, my job, um, you know, then we'll talk about it. They don't pay me now. They don't. And then obviously I have those thoughts, but I thought about it as I was watching Joy answer her head and I felt this um thing, Jay Yoguti, we, we live in Ramaphosa's um, economy where a lot of people are unemployed, where people can't survive and in jail we're living from um, salary to salary. And I looked at it, it's as much as we are marketable, nobody's headhunting us. It's hard to get a job. It's hard to say, Manje, I'm leaving my job for another. So I looked at it and I felt like I should have gratitude um, towards this answer and i felt like a lot of people watch and now they don't have jobs and they see us complaining and 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 i'm not saying good our complaints are not valid but i felt uguti for the time that we uh, we are in or the season that we are in the least we can do in our jobs is to be faithful in the little that we have um because it's giving us the life that we have now. Yes, we feel good. It's not enough, and and and. But we have medical aid. We have um, insurances. We have savings. We can, you know, see the and all these things. P kids can go to school. So I figured, like I looked at it, and I felt good. We complain so much when it comes to our jobs, and um, I just wanted to take this opportunity, especially to God as well, to just say thank you. So I feel like my job um how is my job my job is well in terms of just um it doing what it needs to do would i like it to um to improve or have more yes i would love but at the moment with what i have i feel like my job is just doing um what it needs to do and god has placed me in this time or in this season in my job where um if I feel tested, then it's not something that is happening um, against me. It is happening for me. As my pastor would say, the TNI, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. So um, that's where I am at. And then the next question says, are you worried and stressed about anything? I really had to think a lot about this question and i felt like is there anything stressing me i don't feel Uguti, there is anything stressing me um what am i worried about hmm. i am worried about sorry just to be um also just to be um honest with you guys i'm worried Uguti. i am exhausting a lot of my savings there's a lot of things that i needed to do and uh, people that i needed to help so i felt like um exhausting my savings yet uh, at the back of my mind i thought Uguti, it's the emergency funds they are doing emergency things however because now i need to start over i felt a little bit worried ish um you know because my thing is, um, for those who know Wutsi and I do not have debt and I've always, um, after I finished my debt, I did say to myself, but I never want to be in debt. So, um, I feel like if you don't have savings, it's always easier to fall into that trap your debt because if something had to happen, where are you going to get the funds? It means you will have to, um, ask for credit somewhere or ask somebody to borrow you money and i've always said after i've finished my debt which i don't like that so i'm in that season where i feel Uguti, if i don't act on it mind you, it's gonna put a strain Kimina. so that's one thing i'm worried about but not stressed i'm just worried about it i'm just like hmm if i don't deal with this quick it might be a problem so um the next question says what are you most grateful for right now 
right now the most thing that i'm grateful for is my mental health a good mental um state of being and the reason is it allows me to be a a great mom or to try my best to be the best mom that I can be. It allows me to be a sister. It allows me to be a daughter. It allows me to to be a better friend. You know, um, once I am healthy, I function well. And um, all the other places in my life, they, it flows. Like, everything just flows. So I'm very grateful for um, that wellness. You go to my mental state is doing great so um the next question says what are the three negative mindsets that you need to let go of yeah, this is a tough one now because i'm a person with a lot of compassion so it means sometimes I overextend myself and somebody would say, why would you say that's a negative thing? I think it's a negative thing because I feel like I have that people pleasing mindset. So um, as much as an, as I'm a compassionate person, I feel like sometimes people abuse me because when somebody asks me for help, even if I can't, you know, even if I'm tired, even if I'm like, like i want to do something i want to um i don't want to disappoint lomundu because they've asked me therefore i need to help them even if ginge nayo means to help them and sometimes i look at it and I'm like you're exhausted how do you think you're gonna run with that um it's like you're in reserve how are you going to um fulfill what what this person is asking for sometimes i say you're not even like um because you, I'm a, I'm a mom to a toddler. Okay, but there's a lot of things happening. Sometimes I don't have an, even have the capacity. I need to rest. But because Nkuna, oh please, I won't do a. So I think it's one of those things, uh, people pleasing that I need to um, let go of. And another thing is, um, I need to also learn to let things go, especially in my friendships. I've been um in very um heartbreaking and traumatic friendships and yet i still feel like i can't be this person like i want to make excuses for them and which is very unhealthy so um i need to just learn to let uh, friendships go and i need to just you know bury them and be okay with um just uh, starting over because manje also carry the guilt you would ha what if i didn't try hard enough and i mean looking at the relationships the friendships that i'm referring to the there's no way i could bring them to life like they ha they had to die so i just need to let things go especially with my friendships and another negative thing mindset it's also just thinking we would say just because um you overextend yourself for people you go out of your way to help them that they'll help you too and they'll like go overboard you know um i think people that love themselves they don't do that to themselves so sometimes people not going overboard for you is not because they don't want to help you but it's because they love themselves they know their limits so if they say no and it's final um, I shouldn't interpret it as oh they don't love me back. It's they love themselves more, which is something I also need um to learn. And the next thing is, what are the five things you love about yourself? <clears throat> okay, the first one is I'm very like soft. As I've said, I'm very like uh, a, a, I'm a person with compassion. I'm soft and for the longest time, I've always wanted to hide this. I've always seen it as a weakness. That it's my strength, you know. Um, It's okay. It's okay. People, the world need people who are soft, who have love, who have compassion. So I feel as though we'll say I am thriving in that um in that a uh, section because for the longest time i always wanted to hide it i always felt like oh if you soft people are gonna think you're weak i am soft but i'm not a pushover so i love that and then the next thing that i love so much 
which I learned as an adult is just um, self-care, putting myself first, loving myself, making time for myself, sorry, being selfish with my time. Another thing that I love about me is um, I love people. I'm kind to people and obviously people are God's people and they'll disappoint you but it never takes away that thing for me now i'm always like um like i always have that love i always have that hope and i don't put a blanket on people to say oh i want to buzz a pot you know i always have enough to give and those who i need to let go i let go but it doesn't shadow um that for the next person and what i love um about myself also is is that I can, um, I'm able to enjoy my own space, like without feeling what I need company, I need this. And um, we, as society, we not learn that if you don't have friends, if you don't have this, you don't do this, um, you won't, you won't enjoy life. And I think I am able to do um, life by myself. Obviously, I, I acknowledge what we need other people, 100%. But I love that I can spend time with myself. Okay, I can hear in the background, bang phone. <laughs> and another thing that I love about myself, I just love how um, honest and reliable I am. And by that, I mean, Uti, um, just I'm just one of those people who want to keep to their word. And I'm not saying, Guti, if you're honest and reliable, then you don't um, disappoint people. You do, but um, always every intention that I do is from is from a good place. And um, yeah. So um, how's your physical health? How I interpreted this is um, in terms of physical health, like hydration, sleep, nutrition, movement, which is like physical. So in terms of hydration, very happy. I drink water, I drink a lot of liquids, and I sleep a lot, and baby uh, also sleeps a lot. So I'm very um, happy with that. Nutrition, <laughs> hey, what a, <laughs> hey, what a joke, Bazalwan. Um, yeah, it, I, I can do better. Let's just say I can do better. And um, people that you live with affect how you eat. And this, Yabona Ngishifti blame. This is my nutrition is affected by people that I live with. And then in terms of just physical um health activity, I'm very consistent. I love gym. Gym is doing wonders for me. Um as much as I'm not losing weight and I feel like I'm just stagnant, but it, um it's such a good place to go off. So the next question is how are you feeling about the world right now? Yeah, I feel like the world is in crisis mode. I feel as though we are in the last days. I feel as though everything bad that can happen is happening. I feel like um, there's, you know, natural disasters. I feel like people are just doing things. It, you know, people are killing, they're raping. They're doing all these things that you do not understand. You would say, you know, but people... Jay, it's a lot. There's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of disappointments. There's a lot of, especially in terms of our leaders. Um, you know, things are not happening politically. Jay, yo, guys, even the climate. Jay, the world, yo. Hi, the world is in shambles, and the world needs Jesus. The world needs Jesus. That's all I can say. So um, the last question says, what are you doing to maintain your men, your, your mental uh, wellness? Like I've said, Uti and um, working out for me in terms of just wellness, um, it's doing wonders for my mental health. Also, um, going to church, you know, um, praying, having a community of uh, believers. That is doing wonders for me and for my mental health. Um, also doing the things that I love, like reading, um, going out with my loved ones. That for me always helps uh, with my mental health. It 
it puts me in that uh, good space. So um, I think I've answered all the questions and um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section if um, there's any question that is bothering you or something that's in your heart, maybe in terms of your job, just let me know. Um, let's share and let me know also if you'll be asking your people how they're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much guys i am laughing because now they're very impatient with me so thank you so much uh, i hope you guys can like subscribe and comment um on this video and if you have any videos that you would like me to do let me know in the comment section otherwise it's nothing but love from me bye guys